So you bought yourself a little safe and now you need to know where to put it. Where's the best place to hide a safe in your house? So somebody breaking in is going to overlook it and not get into it. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you're watching Locksmith Recommended. couple of things we're not going to be talking about today. We're not talking about floor safes and wall safes. We did another video on those, the pros and cons of those kind of safes. I'll put a link to that video down below so you can take a look at it if that's the kind of safe you're looking at. We're also not going to be talking about big, high-end, heavy, massive, burglary-rated TL-15, TL-30 safes. When a smash and grabber breaks into your house, he's not getting that safe out. We're going to be talking about little safes, inexpensive safes. Maybe you're protecting some costume jewelry, or maybe you're just keeping a handgun out of the wrong hands. These little safes are great for those kinds of uses, but they're not designed to protect tens of thousands of dollars. Here's a little home safe from American Security. It's their EST line. This is the biggest of that line. They come much, much smaller. And you're gonna learn in just a minute why size is important when it comes to hiding a safe. These two safes over here are by Berg Watcher. The one on the top is their point safe, very similar in style and construction to the American security. But this bird watcher here down below, this is a special little safe because this one actually has a burglary rating. And to get a burglary rated safe in such a small size is very, very hard to do. So when your size is limited, if you want a burglary rating, if you're actually going to be putting valuables in it, this is one of the only options available to you. I'll put links to all of these safes down below and you'll see them when we talk about the way that we're gonna hide these safes from burglars in just a few minutes. Now, when you're looking at inexpensive safes to put in your home, there's a couple options you're going to have. Most of those options won't have pre-drilled bolt holes in the back of the safe. When you're looking at little safes, that's actually a very important feature. So it's something you wanna make sure that you can get. The pre-drilled holes in the back of the safe allow the safe to be secured and bolted into the wall. Pre-drilled holes on the bottom of the safe allow it to be secured and bolted to the floor. So when you're hiding a safe and you're concealing it in some of the methods that we're gonna talk about here in just a minute, that's gonna become a very useful feature because it'll help you tie that safe to the wall and to the floor and make it much harder to get out just in case somebody does find it. So let's get started with my second favorite place to hide a safe in a home. Your laundry room is a room in the house that never gets tossed. It's not my favorite place, I'm saving that for the end. But this is my second favorite place. So laundry rooms have cabinets you can put small safes in. Sometimes you got base cabinets you can put small safes in. So they're ideal when you wanna hide a small safe. You can also secure them to the back of the cabinet, the floor of the cabinet. There's one other place to hide a safe that's actually in this laundry room that I haven't talked about. And that's underneath a sink. If you can get a safe to fit underneath a sink, you're golden because nobody looks underneath the sink. If you got a small safe, it can go under the kitchen sink, it can go under a bathroom sink, go under a utility room sink. Just don't put it in the master bathroom. Very, very important. If you go on down, I've got a safe just tucked away back here. Got some stuff in front of it. This is the Berg Watcher Point Safe that we talked about in the beginning of the video. Has a mechanical opening, has a spring-loaded door. I'll put a link to these safes down below. Nice little way to hide a safe. Now let's talk about the one room in the house. You never want to put a small safe like that. The master bedroom. The master bedroom, the master bathroom, the master closet. You do not want to store little safes in these locations. Now, FBI burglar statistics show that most home robberies, the burglar is only in the house for eight to 10 minutes. So where are they gonna go? The very first place they're gonna go is the master bedroom and the master bedroom closet because they know that that's the highest rate of return. If they go in there, they can find jewelry, they can find money, they can find handguns, they can find anything you have stored in there very, very quickly. So do not put little safes in the master bedroom. Now here's a room that some of these other websites tell you is a good place to hide a safe, but it's not. This is actually underneath my stairwell that goes up to the second story. The reason this is not a great place to put a safe is that so many people put safes here. So it does, it goes back. It looks pretty secluded. Now I do know people that have built faux walls back here and done lots of things to conceal a safe. If you're taking some extra precautions to conceal the safe, then you're probably okay putting it here. Just don't put it here wide in the open 
because it will get grabbed and it will get removed. Now what I've done here is this little trick. Check this out. Okay, I've actually got some boxes in some junk here. This is where I keep my camping supplies. Underneath that box, a safe. So if you have a larger safe or a safe in the garage and you want to conceal it, putting it in an old junky box and throwing some stuff on top of it and making it look like a box full of pillows, maybe even label it miscellaneous junk, that'll help keep that safe from being found because nobody's gonna look in it. So if you're putting it underneath the stairs, that's okay, but you're gonna to have to conceal it somehow. Now I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite place in a home to hide a safe. You're looking at it right here, the pantry. Talk to your friends, talk to your neighbors, talk to anybody you know who's ever been robbed. Nobody's ever told you they toss the pantry, right? Because there aren't a lot of valuables in a pantry. So when a burglar's got six to 10 minutes, he's not coming in here and tossing the pantry. Now this particular pantry has a door that opens out. So it's not ideal. If you're lucky enough to have a pantry whose door opens to the inside, so it swings to the inside, then you have one huge advantage. When the door opens up, if you put a safe here, you can actually hide the safe behind the door. My last house was that way and that's exactly what I did. You open the door, the safe was behind the door, you actually had to come into the pantry and close the door in order to access the safe. So just the fact that they opened the door gave me an extra barrier to hide that safe. So if you have a pantry whose door swings inward, you're in an ideal situation. That is my number one place to hide a safe in a house. And if your pantry door opens out like this, you're not totally lost because there's still lots of stuff in a pantry that you can conceal a safe with. The size of the safe you can get in a pantry is going to depend a lot on your shelving configuration, but you can normally put a decent size small safe in the pantry, stick a couple things in front of it, just to keep it hidden from most prying eyes and anybody that's a smash and grabber in your home. Hopefully you found those hiding spots useful. If you like this video, smash the like button down below. Also subscribe to our channel and you'll get notifications as we release new videos. I'm Robert with Acme Locksmith and you've been watching Locksmith Recommended.